Hey, baby dolls, one of the funniest subcultures that's developing on the Pulse Train ecosystem is Richard Hart's vision. And what do I mean by that? I really, oh man, this is killing me. It's because you know how BSV, Craig Wright, the real Satoshi, forked Bitcoin and made Bitcoin Satoshi's vision? Well, what I'm noticing is in the Pulse Train community, there is basically two sides. There is, it's the exact same thing. There are people who are following Richard with Pulse Chain and PulseX in terms of not being a finished product and being able to update it. That's on one side. And then, and that also includes sacrifices and the projects that raise the sacrifice to make a product, etc. And that's like the future. But there's still a culture of people developing who have Richard's original vision. And this is the meme coin culture. This is people saying it's rebellion. They're going, we have no sacrifice fund. We don't even, we don't need a sacrifice. We don't want anything to do with it. We just have a coin. This is it. This is Richard's original vision. And this earthquake has happened. So I don't know where it lands, but now you get to see this is exactly what happened in crypto with Bitcoin and Ethereum. It's just that Bitcoin reached most of its potential, right? And then it had one final wave after it when Ethereum came out. So when Bitcoin had its big pumps, Ethereum came, came, and then they had one big final pump. That was the 2017 run. Bitcoin did 100x from the low to the high. It's interesting, spooky, that it's the same thing happening in Pulse Chain, Hex, and Richard Hart ecosystem now because you have Hex now going. It did a big run up. Maybe... This is going to be one of the last big final push-ups in this cycle as we continue with Pulse Chain and PulseX. So who's right and who's wrong? Well, there's no right or wrong. It's a risk curve. It's like, okay, Pulse Chain can be upgraded. Pulse Chain can be upgraded with members, with other communities. PulseX is in the heart of Pulse Chain, and that can be upgraded with limit orders and more features and the buy and burn, right? So you're you're adding risk as you add these things on. And the base, I guess you could say the money base of the ecosystem is Hex. And it really is just like Bitcoin, friends, because the Hex community sacrificed and then bootstrapped their value from Pulse Chain and PulseX. This is exactly what happened with Bitcoin and Ethereum. Ethereum's ICO was raised with Bitcoin. I think it was like 30,000 Bitcoin that was raised. So Bitcoin money bootstrapped Ethereum, and then it continued off. And now you see a rift. You see there's, there's there's basically the old faction and the new faction. And the old faction is like, we don't ever need a change. And the new faction is like, nah, there is a demand there. So like I said, it's very fascinating to see what's been developing. Now, why it's very like, why a lot of people pay attention is because Richard is like, he's a very logical person. And everyone's like wondering, oh, how's he going to like manipulate and, and market to everybody and say it? Well, He's already told you. He says, as I discover new information, I update my worldview. All right, but that's the thing, man. You know, in Bitcoin maxi land, and I guess hex maxi land, there is no updating. It, it, is, it is what it is. And it's not that they're silly. They just know, hey, we know how this story ends, man. One unicorn, but 99 dead bodies. So it depends, like what, what's, what are your morals? How do you think these things will work out? This is just business and capitalism at work. When the thing unicorn, when a unicorn actually flies, it's amazing. But the dead bodies suck. And going through those dead bodies really suck, which is what we're seeing as a representation in the Pulse Chain system of these sacrifice projects and everybody trying all these. And this is just, this is capitalism at work. This is what it is. So let me know what you think. It really is making me laugh, friends. Richard, Richard's original vision, what's been going on, finished product or not. The way I see it, obviously, like I said, it's it's not a matter of right or wrong. Remember, it's a risk curve. That's it, you know? What's the least risky thing in the world, friends? You know, maybe buying a house, buying your own, owning your own land, and then you maybe have gold, okay? You know what I mean? Different levels of risk there. Then you add risk. You go to the stock market, S&P 500. You want to add more risk on that. Okay, you might even go to junk bonds and you want to add more risk on that. We're coming into crypto land. And then we have different tiers of risk. We have Bitcoin, Ethereum. Now we have the layer ones on Ethereum, Pulse Chain, and then a DEX on Ethereum and then a meme coin, right? So it's all a risk curve. You just got to decide what you're comfortable with, what you understand. So 
Remember, at the end of the day, though, like if you, if you say, well, the best thing to be in is the thing that makes more money. Yeah, the problem is there's 999,000 things that make you lose your money. So it's fascinating what's been developing. I hope 2024 is a great year. Let's see how this thing develops because this is, it's going to be crazy, right? What's going to play out? Maybe the ETH BTC chart is going to be the key to how it all plays out. Catch you soon.